Hello, my name is Maria and this is Matthew, my mascot. In this lesson we are studying division and multiplication and the connection between the two. Like I already mentioned, division and multiplication are opposite operations. Let's look at this example here. I drew here some strawberries or some berries and there are five groups and in each group four berries. So we have five groups of four and that makes 20 berries in total and we can of course write a multiplication when we have the same amount in each group, right? I just write five times four equals 20. But from the same picture we can also write a division, okay? Because division also has to do with groups of same size. We have 20 divided into groups of four makes five groups. 20 divided by 4 equals 5. Okay, let's look at another example. Here I have a picture and our task is to write a multiplication and a division to match the picture. Notice this one has groups of 3. Two groups of 3. So that gives me my multiplication. 2 times 3 equals 6. And then the division, I will start with the total number of stars. 6. Okay? And then again, groups of 3, so I divide by 3. And I get how many groups? 2 groups. So this is easy, right? How about here? Can you write the multiplication and the division for this picture? And we also need to make the groups. They are not made. Aha, uh -huh. yeah, math is ready for the task. This tells us we need to make groups of 6. Okay. Yep, yeah, that's six. Good job. Good job, Matthew. Here you go, three groups. So now it's easy. Three groups, right? Three times six equals 18. And for the division, you start with the total, total number of apples. 18 divided into groups of six. Three groups. Let's go. Over here, our task is to write the matching division for the multiplication that's already given. 7 times 3 equals 21. So the matching division will be what? Start with the total here in division. Put 21 here. 21 divided into groups of 3, and you get 7 groups. It is just has the same numbers as what we used here. And then 4 times 8. Okay, you know your multiplication tables, right? If you don't, you could take 2 times 8 equals 16 and double that. 32. And for the division, can you tell what the division will be? 32 goes here and then 4 goes here, right? Now next, we have the division and we need to solve that and write the matching multiplication. But actually what we're going to do is we're going to solve the multiplication first. Here in the multiplication we're going to use the same numbers, so the 35 goes somewhere in the multiplication, right? That's the total number of things, so that goes here, it's the answer to the multiplication. And now you think of your multiplication tables, how many times 5 equals 35? You should know the answer, it is 7, right? 7 times 5 equals 35, so 7 goes here for the division problem too. That's how you will solve division problems. You will think about the multiplication. 42 divided by 7. Okay, but hold on, let's think about the multiplication first. Something times 7 equals 42. That is my multiplication. And now you think of your multiplication tables. What number goes here? How many times 7 makes 42? The answer is 6, right? You know that by knowing the multiplication tables. So 6 goes here. And it makes sense because 6 groups of 7 equals 42. In division we have 42. And how many 7s are in 42? 6, okay? Over here, we're going to write a fact family. Do you remember fact families from addition and subtraction? We always wrote two additions and two subtractions for the same picture. 
This time we're going to write two multiplications and two divisions for the same picture. And the two multiplications, you should know what those are going to be. I can think of this as, here's a group of six, another group of six, another, another, another. I have five groups of six, thinking about the rows as groups. Five groups of six makes 30. And then I can think of these columns as groups. So I get groups of five this way, okay? And this time I would get six groups. So six groups of five makes 32. And then the two divisions, the same way. I start with 30 and I can divide 30 into groups of five, for example. This way. And if I do it that way, I get six groups. But if I divide 30 into groups of 6, this way, then I get 5 groups. So that is my fact family. And now lastly, we're going to solve some division problems. And like I told you earlier, we will solve them by thinking of multiplication. Okay? So this is how you will think. What number times 12 equals 48? Okay? It's kind of like you go backwards but you use multiplication, because multiplication and division are opposite operations. What number times 12 equals 48? You can also think how many 12s are in 48. How many times 12 equals 48, okay? So the answer is pretty clear, right? 4. 4 times 12 equals 48. Oh, Matthew wants to do the next one, okay? Sure. How many 9s are in 81? How many times 9 makes 81? 9 times 9, 81. Yeah. And how many times 6 makes 54? You can even guess and check, but you should know your multiplication tables. 9 times 6 equals 54. Over here, how many 10s are in 100? How many times 10 equals 100? 10 times 10. How many 1s are in 6? Well, 6 1s, right? And lastly, how many 20s are in 20? How many times 20 makes 20? Just one. Okay, there we go. Well done with this lesson.